We are very happy to have with us a wonderful guest today who represents a wonderful foundation that we here on New Greek Television would like to share with you and help you learn more about and hopefully support. Um, the Elepap Foundation uh, was founded in 1938 in Athens, Greece after World War II uh, for the need of disabled children. It's a rehabilitation and dis uh, for disabled children. Um, and we are very happy to discuss more about it because not only is it a historical foundation, but we have with us the president, today's president, and for many years, uh, Mrs. Mosku, who's come all the way from Athens to share with us the new initiative, which is the extension, the International Friends of Elepap. And she is here to share us with us the news. Mrs. <laughs> Mosku, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Darili. I mean, I'm a very... Uh, honored to be your guest. <laughs> <laughs> we are very honored and, and we really commend you, your board, and your volunteers, your staff uh, for all that you're doing. Disabled children are not given enough attention. We always believe it's not enough attention because it never really is, is it? <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I have my, my attitude is I mean, half full uh, cup. I mean, uh, yes, yes, uh, yes. So we always want um, more. We want I more don't, help. I don't want to complain. Yes. I do want to try and uh, be enthused and uh, use this enthusiasm for the benefit of these children and uh, everything else. It's, I'm not alone. It's a big group of people around, both between volunteers, the workers, uh, therapists, um, staff, psychologists. Uh, a big staff, 220 people over the six uh, branches around uh, Greece. Thessaloni I mean, apart, apart from Athens, is Thessaloniki, Yanena, Volos, Agrinio, Hanya. I mean, uh, it's um, uh, 100,000 children have passed the door of El Bab. They are now, most of them, of course, are grown up. Uh, uh, they are uh, adults, uh, they are uh, at, all, uh, at all ages, and we are close to them as much as we can. We follow their needs. There are new needs. There I mean, are new needs, and I'm happy to hear you're addressing all the new. We are trying. I mean, uh, uh, recently we established the first stages uh, hypostyrizomenes um, diaviosis. Uh, we call it uh, um, houses uh, of supported living because actually we are addressing the need of parents who were always saying whenever they were coming to El Pap, who is going to take care of our children, the ones that are not fully recovered or fully, I mean, self-movers, um, uh, self They're et chronic, they're born with their, exactly. yes. Exactly. And uh, we created the first big um, uh, house, uh, uh, first big area with uh, eight houses in Yannena, Ioannina, and uh, we are catching, I mean, we have so many goals, uh, but um, the vision is every step at a time, if we can manage two steps or three steps at a time, it, it's better, and we are lucky. We have supporters, and we find supporters, and that's why and we, must all we support. are here. We missed the one supporter, but uh, uh, we got money out of his going away in heaven, mm -hmm. and now we have the new playground. That's so, <laughs> so actually, I mean, it's uh, a ble everything. Everything can be used to the benefit of these brave children. Yes, I mean, I guess uh, you may have uh, shown already these babulas uh, at your uh, TV. And we have that, shown. We were very happy to air and the commercial. This is this is this uh, this one really is so symbolic of the effort our children do. Yes, uh, I mean the feeling is they don't say that in words, those many words, but they say. I mean we say for them they do it. Yes. I mean uh, yes, uh, life has created obstacles, but willingness and uh, enthusiasm tries to cross through. Yes. And this is, uh, these are mottos uh, that really make everybody that really starts looking at the issue, but with positive 
thought, not avoidance, not uh, let's... Uh, so let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, the social uh, environment of Greece, uh, society, uh, w is not so kind to gradually, recognize. Gradually, it's been uh, improved, as I said. Which is very good. Half yeah. full, yes. crap, and not empty. Yes. There is a lot of work about that. Actually, we are having a very, very, I um, mean, really thoughtful program of uh, inter of integration, of teaching rather, of going to school. Yes. Uh, with uh, grown-up, uh, ex-children, now grown-up uh, uh, girls and ladies and, uh, and uh, men. men, and uh, to schools and our therapists. And we go and discuss with the, uh, the pupils, so the students at school, primary and secondary education, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how we will integrate yes. the disabled people. And all of a sudden, the children realize that, okay, okay, uh, probably We're part of society. Probably, yeah, We're all we are one society. society. Absolutely. We are equals. Yes. We may have some little problems. Okay, what if uh, I. I go we will out help to each the street other. and I have my, my knee problem, uh, with problems. Broken, yes. Okay. Yes, right. It's the, like the same. It's I mean, acceptance, it's, it's awareness, it's educating people. Absolutely. We're all here to learn from each other absolutely. And, uh, and count our blessings. And they are here to also count their blessings that they have helped. Tell us about your staff. Your staff is educated uh, on... They are... Uh, with they are... Specialized I mean, in they disabilities. They come out of uh, special uh, schools that uh, they do physiotherapy, speech therapy, I mean, uh, all, all these things uh, that uh, uh, should be given to the children, psycholo psychological uh, support. Uh, support, and all these things. They study at the universities, and we have continuous retraining. There is nothing new that comes up at, in the world, not only in Greece, that we don't really try yes. to learn and use. We have teachers coming, professors coming, and it was uh, very nice the other day at the presentation, uh, at the reception, uh, that uh, the professor who has really started at Rask Institute uh, NYU, the program for the neuropsychological acquired injuries, and we have it for the last 10 years taken from him and the cherished uh, student that he had uh, the lady that really is heading the program with us and with good donations because we needed donation it was an, a, a very expensive program we have seen now very many people going through the course those uh, uh, those therapies and actually the significant others as we call their mothers fathers uh, wives children etc they say we wouldn't believe our really cherished uh, husbands, wives, mothers, uh, they would recover and come back to life, and not recover from uh, injuries and right. whatever it happened after an accident. But they see progress, they, they see change. They start being Believing. again into the world right. because they lost some skills, but they are taught how to really accept the new life, how the others accept them, and this is very powerful. And we were lucky that the, this professor was with us. Yes, he was wonderful. And he commented, he commented very fair, favorably Results. for our team. Yes. Uh, that was really, I mean, It's I was, wonderful to see that the children are progressing, that they're learning, they're able to integrate back into society, they're able to le live, learn and be able to live at home easier, correct? Absolutely. Some are able to learn skills to live on their own. Others, unfortunately, need assisted living. Tell us about the assisted living programs. Uh, there are, I mean, assisted, assisted living is everything we do, because actually... So they live well, within, they no, don't live... No, 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 they don't live... Uh, they don't, they're not in-house living. No, no, no. The, uh, the children that come to us, it's about uh, um, uh, infants and children, it's about a thousand per year over the... What ages the do six you accept? Letter, uh, over, over the six uh, branches, mm -hmm. uh, they come. Either uh, if they if they are f uh, attending the educational programs as well, they stay for uh, eight hours. Uh, they come with school buses. They live with school buses. 
and go to her home. And also there are the children that don't attend education because they are uh, younger. And uh, they uh, come with their parents. Uh, they stay there for the therapies. And then they leave, go back home. We also do, I mean, uh, the, in the therapies, there is also um, uh, Halliwick and very uh, contemporary method for swimming. And they do therapeutic swimming. Uh, they, they do, they go on horses. Uh, I mean, they do all sorts of things yes. that can add something to their, uh, uh, to their um, uh, um, rehabilitation. That's wonderful. Let's discuss what type of children you accept into Philippop. We are not uh, doing autism, but we are doing the phases, the, the lighter there's phases. There's a very big spectrum of autism today, and, and every year there's new studies have found different spectrums, and they're adding on and on. Our main, there's a lot of different... It's not our main thing, but we are addressing, um, I mean, the various uh, simpler phases of uh, autism. Tell us about your services. Are they free? The services, um, the, the parents who have social security, uh, they will they pay for the service because it's being paid. Actually, not they don't pay themselves. But social it security is, uh, is social covering security, it. Correct. Exactly. Social security, exactly. Uh, but there, especially recently with the crisis, uh, starting from 210 uh, or earlier, uh, a lot of parents lost jobs. So actually, they became soon out of social security, and then, uh, and there, we had a great problem in really raising more funds than usual because we had to cover more parents that didn't uh, have the social security to really pay for the for the therapies. Is there any incentives uh, from the government? Can the government help support if you the, go the government uh, gives? Uh, um, we are in the budget. The, the formal, the tactical budget of the government, and uh, we get uh, something like 10% uh, of the total budget, which is seven million for the seven uh, for the six uh, branches. Can the European Union help in some capacity? Uh, may if there is if there are some uh, programs, specific programs. Mrs. Mosco, tell us. Let's elaborate more. Let's delve deeper into the socio-economic crisis uh, of Greece right now. How is it directly affecting Ephelia? The crisis, uh, as I said, uh, uh, had a very direct uh, uh, um, problem, uh, impact rather, on Elepap, uh, because uh, a few, a lot, <laughs> how, how many we want to say, um, uh, parents lost their jobs. Uh, so it was not uh, easy <laughs> to take care of the therapies of their children. Not because they were paying out of their pocket, but because they lost social, social security and thus they, could, they didn't have. So we decided in uh, uh, 2014, uh, we created the International Friends of Elepa Pink here in New York. Um, uh, here in New York, um, established in Delaware. But, in the United uh, with, States. Uh, in the United States. And uh, it's a 501c3 company. And we started spreading the message, but spreading w one to the other. I mean, we didn't take any more uh, wider, um, wider um, uh, public, I mean, um, uh, communication uh, through media and things like that, uh, or friends uh, in the States. Uh, that's why now, we took the bold decision to create an event in December, which is not the best month for Greek Americans or Americans, let alone foreigners who come all of a sudden. It's okay, here. it's the beginning, but it's we presentation. It. Yes. Uh, good friends who are there, as you were there, Happy and to uh, you are helping us now with the communi to communicate the message, and we are happy. We started. Uh, people will know about us. And let's tell the the viewers what is the message. What what is it that the Greeks abroad can do to support Ifilipa? Uh, you, uh, I would start uh, a little differently. There's no doubt you can support financially, but before you support financially, I'm certain 
you visit Greece regularly, uh, frequently if not regularly, uh, and it would be great to come and visit us. Visit one of our branches. It's Athens, Yannena, Thessaloniki, Volos, Agrinio, and Henyat Crete. Do come. You will find for yourself if it's worth supporting. And then, yes, we will be too glad to really explain everything, visit around, and if you can support as well at the end, uh, that is great as well. But not before visiting. Yes. You have to have your own feelings. We want you to experience, correct? We want yeah. you to have the Absolutely. experience, love the children, <laughs> meet the staff. Uh, but I'd like to also say that perhaps there are some special education teachers that may be interested in coming to volunteer some of their time with you at one of the locations. So perhaps... It could be great yes. if that happens. That would be and, great. Uh, you can find out more about us. Uh, you can communicate with us. And uh, then we can uh, do, because now we are here. I'm here with... Um, uh, the, 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 the children neurologist we have in Athens, which is another volunteer, 28 years. She is volunteering her, her time to us. And we are visiting one or two of the foundations here, uh, being involved with uh, similar disabilities and yes. things we do. So, uh, sky's the limit. Get involved, <laughs> let's help, let's support. <laughs> Uh, you know, the, the, uh, the United States has, has a lot of great disability programs. We'd like to help Greece with some of their, the government is supporting. They're giving you at least 10%, which is wonderful. Yes. Yes. But uh, every little bit Count. counts. <laughs> Check out the graphic at the end of the show for more information about if you lip up. Mrs. Mosco, we'd like to thank you for coming to visit us and sharing uh, your uh, news about the new International Friends of Philip Pop here in the United States. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, yes, it's worth helping these children, these families. And we consider at Elepap that with the people of Elepap in how, in, uh, inside the, and the families of the children and the children them, them, themselves, is a big family caring each for each other. Thank you.